pretty hilarious. Um, yeah, no, no, I know. But it's hilarious that it's all right, is what I mean. <laughs> yeah, well, it's PG. I mean, I've been, I've been every weekend now, so. Oh, do you? You've down, yeah, no, I heard that Silas loses to like anyone. Here we go anyway, we've got the match. And an immediate UO down smash classic. Uh, if you're not familiar with UO, he's platform down smash extraordinaire. Um, yeah, but UO kind of takes it to like, you know, the, the extreme level, I would say. That was a really nice uh, ledge refresh there. Uh, that, that's like just discipline to like get back onto it. Uh, yeah. Dash attacks. Right, goes for the uh, up throw there. Just holding 104%. That could be an up air probably. A forward air. I'm wrong. It's just that easy. Yeah, your bread and butters are just uh, are nice. And then like you can force. I think I think Sheik's projectile game is a little bit better than um, Peaches as well. So you can force them to run into it. Yeah, just because of the the versatility of needles is better. Like you have to sit there and pull the turnip, and then you have to you know it's got a slow travel time compared to the needles. I'm kind of impressed by you, but he's, he's probably jumping a bit much. You don't want to get too much above Sheik, because Sheik has like good anti airs like up air. Yeah, they're playing quite clean though. Oh, power shield. Yeah, R23, so R23 was telling me that um, they're on a controller, they're on like a modded controller, and the power shields, it, it's got like the trigger uh, pressed in, so they hit power shields for like three. And they were saying like how easy it is um, yeah, remove the spring or soften the springs, I think, also. Um, and they've also got like a shield for light shielding. So if you see their shield game being really strong, that's kind of why. Uh, looking for the down tilt to pop up for the up uh, air, which is nice. Uo like kind of adjusting in the player cam, thinking, oh, that foot. I wish it was going more like this first stop right now. I'm pretty sure. I wish I was winning. Yeah. <laughs> Going for the turnip. See, that was kind of like when a Falco lasers and then they go straight for the approach. It's like you go a turnip and then you just want to approach. It's like you can't really do that. You have to like slowly turn it, slowly gain space. Um, but they've been good off the ledge, you know. I think they just need to jump less, maybe. I think they're kind of um, they're kind of been a bit telegraphed in the air. Like Peach doesn't have the best drift coming down, so you kind of want to stay grounded if you can. It doesn't help the Sheik's also very good on the ground, but, you know, yeah. is what it is. Oh, that oven barely misses. And right now, ooh, R23 is a bit of like a, a fiend in the little in the little space. Like he, R23 wants to play like below the platform near the ledge. That's their favorite place to be. Like I know you might think that about a lot of Sheik's, but uh, it, he doesn't really like camp ledge or anything like that. He just stays in that little uh, zone. Um, yeah. Still ball. I think jump less, pull more turnips, um, dash attack more maybe. I don't know. It's scary to dash attack, but you need to find those mix-ups somehow. Ooh. Coming in with a down air. Cheek down air just seems like the, uh, seems like a way more popular move nowadays. Like Max uses Sheik down a ridiculous amount. Yeah, stays out for so long and it as a combo tool it's super good. Um, even though it can look like telegraph. Uh, get up, down smash, lines grab, easy forward air, ding ding. Yeah. Just go over the ledge. Again you need it to like so what you want to do there is you want to get up Low reverse nair and it sends them back but like she was kind of in an awkward position to do it in to be fair yeah dash attack and you just see that's just shocking him right now it has to use the turnip um like there, that's a situation where you've got them on the side of the stage. You can just keep the space because they've already got center stage. You might as well throw a turn. Dash attacking into the corner is just playing into R23 strength. Exactly, exactly, completely. Yeah, and why would why would R23 mess up when he's upper stock? 
He's got the confidence. He's not going to fall for a dash attack. And even if it hit, it's at 130. Dash attack probably won't kill, and it will send him too far off stage to, like, do that much with. So... I froze a turn up in the air. <laughs> oh, gosh. Tries to sneak past a ledge. This is where it's rough, because, like, any... You can just tap it in a sheet. How do you get past his He's, he's trying to enjoy himself, which I can respect. Um, but again, yeah, I would be doing like a lot of like wave dash out of shield, backwards and forwards, turn it, turn it. Uh, I mean, you essentially have to play it kind of lame as Peach. Like, it's just a hard matchup. Um, again, just running into these uh, these shield mix-ups. And Yu hasn't had the best pressure on shield. Uh, it's not easy to pressure Sheik on shield, but like he's playing a play style that involves <laughs> pressuring, so he kind of needs to be really good at it. Back at down smash. No, again, it's not really like, I don't think it's the best percent for it either. I think you can crouch uh, down till, till like 50. That is a made up modest major statistic. Please no one fact check that. Uh, no, that's, yeah, that's super real. I looked it up. Don't bother looking at it, it's, it's right. Oh, weak up smash into strong up smash. It, it feels so nice, and then you look at the stock count, and you're like, oh. <laughs> side B's off the stage. Oh, side B, oh, Peach Bomb, ah. Oh. Showing off the tech. What a god, turn it, throw. Okay, that's interesting, and we're out. <sighs> GG's. Unfortunately, it kind of, exactly how I saw the set going in my mind's eye was how the set went.